Hi, I'm Audrey. It's good to see you again. I'm going to be demoing some Epicure products um, specifically to make your own salad dressing at home. So I really like Greek dressing and I have not been able to find any Greek dressing in any stores that I like. So Epicure has a great solution. This is our Greek uh, dressing. There are recipes on the back for Greek dressing, creamy Greek, Greek salad to actually make it into a salad with a bunch of veggies in it. So this is what I'm going to be using for today. I'm going to be mixing it up in this cruet. So this is such a neat bottle because it actually has measuring amounts on it. So it makes it super easy to mix up dressing and then the lid just screws on and off. We do have replacement lids in case you break it, like I did here. It's broken. Gotta get a new one. Okay, so I'm just gonna follow this recipe on the Greek seasoning. I'm gonna use my cruet. I'm gonna use this funnel, it's silicone. It's specifically made for this cruet. Um, so I'm gonna do the seasoning first. This is a four in one spoon. And actually, um, move that a little. This is a tablespoon, this really big one right here, and there's different uh, measuring parts of it. Super handy, because it does fit right in the jar. So this calls for two whoop, tablespoons of this seasoning. There's so much packed into these jars when you get them. So two tablespoons of that, and then three quarter cup of olive oil. I use avocado oil. I just prefer it over olive oil because I don't really like the taste of olive oil, but I like the taste of avocado oil. So I'm going to pour this in here. We can see in the lines where we're at. It's about, oh, it's between a quarter and a half. So I'm actually going to stop it before three quarters because I don't like as much oil in my dressing. I like it to have a stronger vinegar taste. This is red wine vinegar and it calls for a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. So I'm actually just going to fill the rest with red wine vinegar until I get to the one cup mark. the lid on, shake it up, so the good thing about mixing your own dressing is that you can modify it in any way that you want. Dressing. This is a dressing that I made previously that's been sitting out for a while, and it's still good. It's probably been out for like a month or so. I don't need a lot when I put it on my salads, but super nice that I can modify it to anything that I want. So that is how you make salad dressing with the Epicure seasonings, the cruet, the funnel, and the four-in-one spoon. There are so many different things that you can do. You can make dressing out of three onion. We have mm, creamy ranch. You can make ranch dressing, obviously. Balsamic vinaigrette. Here's an interesting one, poco picante. So a lot of these are actually meant to be made as dips or something else, but you can make them into dressings just like you would just about anything. There's tons of um, recipes on the website that you can just go in and look and find one that you are interested in and make it up. Super simple. Ooh, another one, sesame ginger. This is so delicious. Again, recipes on the back. It's probably can't see it. It's probably backwards. Anyway, it says sesame ginger dressing, the dressing mix, soy sauce, oil, and then some rice vinegar. And what's super good about this is you mix it up in the cruet. You finely chop up some cabbage, like some green cabbage, and then you toss it with this dressing. So good. Anything, any Asian meal that you have, super good. Anyway, that's 
how you make your own dressing at home. Thanks so much for stopping by.